Yo, welcome back to the channel. Once again, my name is Cedric Salis. So let's continue with the calculation of the FGPA. That is the final GPA, the one you graduate with. And don't worry, this one too, you can keep record of it every year. You can keep record of it every year, okay? And this is the reason why you will find out that sometimes your GPA is better than your CGPA, okay? If you have to keep your GPA calculated, which is reflected as CGPA in the first year, okay? The second year, what reflects is not necessarily the GPA. It's just the continuation of the assessment of the CGPA. So you don't have to focus on that. You have to focus on it yearly, okay? Now, this one, is to six one is this ratio is the theory used for these years in calculation of the FGPA let's stick to that now this is for the first year and this is for the first, second year and this is for the third year and this is for the fourth year okay This means that every year you will take, you're going to multiply it by 1 divided by 6, okay? So this is going to be 3.1, uh, 3.42. So it will be multiplied by 1 divided by 6. And this will give you your FGPA for the first year. So let's use our calculators and see what it's going to give us. We're going to have, for the first year, we're going to have 0 0.57. Serious, right? Yeah, that's how it looks. But don't worry. Don't worry, we'll get to the end and it will look better. Okay, so 0 0.57. So this is what we have for the first year so you keep this one you do the same to the rest okay so this one we're gonna have 3.0 times 1 divided by 6 and what would that give us 0.5 Okay, so this one will give us 0 0.5. Yeah. So let's keep going. Now, in this third year, which is this one, and the last one, which is fourth year, that one is multiplied by 2. Multiplied by 2. Okay? But if you have to go to your CGPA, for that one, it just continue. The things like that without bringing in this. Okay, so you, you need to do this yourself. Okay? And that will reflect in your GPA in the alternative where uh, I indicated the last in our last video. Okay, so <clears throat> this one the same, but the multiplication is different. So 2.98 times 2 divided by 6. Let's do the math and see what we are going to have. Next, we're going to have 0 0.99. You ask, wow, that's almost 1. But these figures are quite bigger than this. Yes, but because this one was multiplied by 2. Okay, this one was multiplied by, two, multiplied by 2. So we're going to have more than what we have been getting. So we're going to have 0 point, sorry, 0 0.99 far greater than the previous ones so your third and your fourth year is multiplied by two let's get to the last one so we multiplied by two the same thing but this one 3.6 3.6 times 2 divided by 6 let's get what we let's see what we're going to have wow I don't believe this. This one gave us more than one. This one gave us 
1.2 1.2 now in the end in the end you're going to sum up everything here all the years so we're going to have 0 0.57 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.99 plus 1.2 let's do the math and see what we're going to have that is 0 0.57 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.99 plus 1.2 this is going to give us 3.26 as our final GPA and if you are to graduate with this it means you have graduated according to the current 2020-2021 um, grading system and divisions, this falls under second class. That's upper division. Okay? Second class upper division according to the 2020-2021 um, academic uh, grading system. So, kudos if you are to achieve that. This is second class upper. Okay? From first class, we come to second class upper and then second class lower. Okay? Be then we go to the third class. Okay? So, Congratulations on this. If you are to achieve this, you make sure in every semester you do better to um, up your um, GPA. Okay, so on this note, we'll wrap up here and then we'll meet in another video. Remember, I promised to do a video in explaining why the credit hours three is three. Why is the credit hours three? Three credit hours. Why? What is the meaning of that? So stick with me on this channel and once again if you haven't subscribed to this channel please kindly do by clicking on the red button that is the subscription button if you haven't if you have already but haven't um, checked the notification bell kindly do that for me thank you once again